Hey, hey, my name is Leslie Morris, and we're going to be looking at the trailer for Apocalyptic The Tsunami War. I'm going to be playing the trailer for you in full, then I'm going to be breaking it down for you guys. I need to point out that I haven't actually seen this film, so I'm going to be trying to work out the plot based only from what's on screen. Okay, let's have a look. The world as we know it is over. Half a nation and its people submerged and washed away. The weather situation is much worse across the... A new order emerges of violence and hate. You think you can take what belongs to me? Only the strong will survive and the powerful will rule with an iron fist. A broken man returns to build a peaceful future from a violent past. Home sweet home. But some things never change. And when the world needs a hero, he will just have to do... What the? Prepare to unleash the beast. Apocalyptic. The Tsunami War. The future is going to hell. So, if you're like me, the only reason you watched this trailer was to see what a tsunami war looked like. I find the idea of a tsunami war really intriguing, as those two words don't really belong together. What on earth could it be? I honestly found the idea impossible to conceptualize in my head. Could the film be about a mad scientist with a weather machine? Or is it about America declaring war on tidal waves? Sadly, the answer is none of the above. After watching the trailer, I'm pretty sure it was just an interesting title that was put together to draw people's attention to the film. Also, I guess it's a reference to the tsunami that caused the apocalyptic world that the film is set in, but I don't think apocalypses, tsunamis, or wars have a direct role in the film. So let's have a look at the rest of it. The world as we know it is over. Yeah. Except for the fact that the world looks exactly the same. Nothing seems to be water damaged, and this scene looks like it could have come directly out of a Steven Seagal film. My main beef with this trailer is that it spends too much time talking about the setting, and not enough time talking about the plot. Considering the broad cliches this film seems to be using, it's a little long and excessive. So when the trailer finally sets up the hero, we learn that he has returned. From what? We don't know. Maybe a UFC fight. I didn't like the look of this guy at first, but he's actually more badass than he appears. Firstly, he has a beard. Jesus has a beard. Chuck Norris has a beard. Macho Man Randy Savage has a beard. All badasses have beards. Secondly, he can turn anything into a weapon even his mouth. But he gets points taken off him for this scene. If only he had more machismo, this would have been physically impossible for her to do. Babes stick to machismo men like metal sticks to a magnet. Trust me, it's scientific. From what I can tell, the villain of this movie seems to be this lady who's an Asian ass kicker. The trailer tells us nothing about her. We don't know who she is, what's her motivation, and why she's going to be a threat to our hero. So let's recap. I know that this film takes place in a post-apocalyptic future. There was a tsunami that took place before this film began. And if this film does feature a war, it might not be against water. Also, it's about some dude who for some reason needs to save the day. This trailer really needed a little bit more plot. You can catch more Tomcat film trailers on Trailerific, which is on the U2 network.